friends. Oh god. Good morning friends. Today I thought that we would try to reset our body schedules and productivity schedules back together again. Like I said in like one of my previous vlogs, I've been just sleeping for 12 hours a day and I feel like I need to provide myself a little bit more structure. But I thought that starting today, I would get up with the sun at 6 a.m. and just start being a more productive, normal, circadian rhythmed human being. Really quickly, thank you so much to Skillshare for supporting this community. If you don't know what Skillshare is, I've talked about it so many times before. It's an online learning platform with videos on hundreds of different things like painting, UX, UI design, and calligraphy. Recently, I've been super enamored by the bullet journal videos up on there. So if you're interested, I have a link down in the description box for two months of free of Skillshare, and I'll have more information at the end of the video. Today, we are headed to San Francisco for a few things. I have a meeting for a pretty cool project that you guys will be seeing maybe by the time this video goes up if not like probably a week or so after and then i want to head to muji possibly see if i can get a glue tape refill because i just mowed through this one apparently and grabbing a launch with a friend at berkeley which will be fun i have i haven't seen her since the berkeley davis game day so that'll be a lot of fun to catch up <laughs> I need to leave so I'm going to make some breakfast I am thinking avocado toast it's like 57 degrees in Davis and I'm considering that to be sweater weather like that's pretty sad so the bread that I'm gonna be using today is the Trader Joe's California style spreaded wheat bread I find that this bread is the like the heartiest avocado toast so I'm gonna have one of these half of an avocado and then I'm gonna fry up an egg I'm gonna fry it in some olive oil I don't usually eat like this in the mornings I just find that this is good for long days because it has a lot of fiber from the bread it's just like a calorically dense meal um, from like all the oil on the pan and all the fats and the avocado and the huevos. Also trying to stay hydrated more and drink more water. Sorry about the stove, it's an electric stove so it makes like all these annoying ass noises while I'm trying to cook. But I kind of wanted to like sit and like do a little quick chat about like health and diet. I'm someone who I would not consider myself to be a healthy person right now. I would really like to be- also this lighting is phenomenal. Um, I would really like to become a healthy person. I feel like my current diet and exercise routine is not doing that great. Since I've moved into the new apartment though, I have been actively working on my health. I went to the gym yesterday. I didn't do that strenuous of an exercise because I still wanted to be mobile enough for today and I have just been trying to work out more, eat better, not eat so much junk food. I find that my weakness right now has been chocolate and sweets. I have been drinking green smoothies because I find that I don't really eat a lot of vegetables if they're not in the form of smoothies. So I've just been putting like 90% spinach, some orange juice, bananas, strawberries, and Greek yogurt, or no, Icelandic skur yogurt. I don't actually enjoy the taste of yogurt. I just also have noticed that my diet is very lacking in calcium because I tend to eat vegan, um, not intentionally. It's just that I'm really lazy and I don't like to cook meat. And I don't really enjoy the taste of eggs except on avocado toast. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions on how to eat 
healthier, please let me know because I really would like to get my health back on track. This is actually today's outfit. Um, I'm wearing these earrings, which are the between hoops from Majuri. I'm sorry about my dirty ass mirror. I know it needs to be cleaned. This bee necklace, whoa, come on. Yeah, this bee necklace is from Majuri. This thick band is from my grandma. This middle thinner band is from Majuri. I know I have a lot of Majuri. This watch, Casio. A vintage blazer from my mother. Thanks, mom. Come on, focus, friend. Uh, Grana silk cami, Levi's belt, Everlane carpenter pants. I'm wearing my, um, what are these? Uh, totally forget what they're, super gauze. Wearing my super gauze, and I'm carrying around my Everlane day tote, although I might switch it out for the black one because that one is a little more beaten up. And this is still new, shiny baby. So yeah, go do that and we'll get ready to go.
really quick before I go. Again, thank you so much to Skillshare for partnering with me in this video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning platform that'll teach you how to do everything from editing videos to make awesome dinner. And I've been a paid user of Skillshare myself. I firmly believe in their product and their platform, and I find that it's much more helpful when you want to learn how to do very specific things because they have very, very curated libraries and whole lessons planned for the things that you're looking for. So if you want to level up your creative game this school year, I highly, highly recommend Skillshare. And again, I know I say it every time, but I really, really appreciate you guys being here. Um, this is what allows me to, you know, have stuff like Skillshare partnerships. And I really do appreciate being able to make content for you guys. So I'm going to head to bed now. Thank you again for watching and hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.